Uh, good morning. Lou Manfredini here with you, the Mr. Fix-It Show. Steve, um, you know, uh, yeah. we, we have a rule on this show about what it takes to be happy, right? Yes. Happy wife. Happy life. Yeah. And you know, sometimes, you know, I've been married now, gosh, 20, almost 22 years. Mm-hmm. And I can count on my hand how many times I've been right. As it pertains to, and I still have fingers to go, type <laughs> yeah. of thing. I had a big, um, uh, like, bonehead move that I got in a lot of trouble for, and I have no one to blame but myself uh-huh. uh, this past what week. What happened? So, you know, we have four children, and I have lots of nieces and nephews. Right. And so, like most families with lot, there's 14 children within the Mm -hmm. realm of my family and a lot of clothing gets kind of passed down from Mm -hmm. kids hey this doesn't fit quinn anymore give it to walter this doesn't fit carmen give it to isabella flannery all this stuff right it kind of goes around so and and there are there are are, our totes that we fill you know like those storage totes Mm -hmm. and we'll put give this to uncle peter give this to aunt ellen give this to aunt nora you Mm -hmm. know all this kind of stuff well there was a large bag on the back porch Normally, the donation clothing goes in a large bag, Mm -hmm. and then there are those big tubs that are, you know, strategically placed around the city where you go and donate it, and the less fortunate get to benefit from that. And so uh, I thought I was doing a good thing on Friday because I was going by the hardware store, and we have one of those bins, right, a business next door. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one of those bags. I'm going to take them and throw it in the bin. Mm -hmm. And so the next day, we're home, and I said, oh, by the way, I dropped off that bag at the bin. Uh And Mary Beth said... That wasn't a donate bag. That was for Isabella. Peter was going to pick that up. And I go, what are you talking about? That normally the donate stuff is in a bin. It's not in a bag. And so we're having dinner that evening. And uh, okay, so in the meantime, I drive to the place where yeah. the bin was. Right. You can't get in the bin. It's strategically designed not to do that. Yeah. I call the phone number, and a nice woman named Susie answers. And I said, I think I made a mistake. I, I put something in there I shouldn't have put in there. Is there a way I could meet the guy? Oh, yeah, they're going to come on Monday. Let me find out, and you could meet the guy, you know, and get the bag. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to speed the story up. So uh, she calls me. But the lady, nice lady Susie, calls me back like an hour later. Oh, I'm so sorry he did that route th- overnight. Uh, I'm like, oh, man, I'm in so much trouble now. Yeah. So she goes, but what did the bag look like? Maybe we could, you know, there's a huge truck. We haven't unloaded it yet. I go, well, it's a big black bag, like it's the only one. They were nice enough to take all the black bags and put them in these things and for me to come look at it. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Now, quickly, having dinner, my daughter Carmen, you know, the one who thinks you don't like me, right. um, s- says at the dinner table, She, my wife says, guess what dad did? Remember that bag? You know, he, he threw the, he, he donated that bag. And Carmen completely throws me under the bus. Oh, my gosh, I even heard you tell Dad that that was going to be picked up by (laughs) Uncle Peter. Right there, she didn't even miss a beat, throws me completely under the bus. So yesterday, I drive to the place, and it's in West Chicago. Uh Do you know where West Chicago is? Yes. It's not near Chicago. No, it's way out there. Yeah, like St. Charles. Yeah. I drive out there. I go back. They couldn't have been nicer. There are probably... You know, 500 bags in these things. And this nice guy, I believe his name was Hector, helped me to move the bags. Sure enough, I find the bag. Really? Is that amazing? You found it. I find wow. the bag. And so I'm thinking, wow, thanks. That's really nice. I try to give the guy a tip, you know, for this is mm-hmm. really nice of you. No, 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 that's fine. This other guy comes out and says, hey, do you mind if we take a picture? I go, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like they know who I am. And they go, yeah, we're going to put you in the newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> so the company's called Use It Again. They couldn't have been nicer. Mm-hmm. I drove out to West Chicago. I think for all the time and effort, I could have bought new clothing and it would have been cheaper. But I'm going to be in their newsletter. So there I am with my gigantic bag, and they took a picture. They were very nice. Yeah, so. but you, you fixed it all. You fixed it up. I got it yeah, back. There you go. Now all stuff can be sent to the proper people. So anyway. <laughs>